Welcome Pisces and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Tuesday the 20th of December through to Sunday the 25th of December 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the rest of this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me... Ooh, prayer okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question how does these soulmates of pisces sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing tuesday the 20th of december through to sunday the 25th of december 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards pisces that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question how does these soulmates of pisces sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in okay i was wondering if the end cards were going to come out pisces so we have despondence and isolation okay so i okay first of all i feel that your prayers have been answered with regards to the current situation you're in with uh somebody or um in your life at the moment okay i feel that many of you you may have been despondent or isolated yourself from this person and many of you may have even thought about walking away i feel as if there's a turnaround there's a shift going on here uh, and i feel that you're being guided just to surrender to the connection let go control and trust trust your inner knowing because um there's something i feel that was that that you felt either was missing many of you may have been pulling your hair out i feel that you're being guided with the despondent card here uh to see things from your third eye chakra pay attention to dreams signs synchronicities um i i feel that the connection is a lot more stronger than what you think it is um your prayers have been answered but it may have come in the form in which you didn't expect and i feel that if you did think about walking away from this person okay pulling back your energy okay many of you may have pulled back your communication with the blue here um many of you i feel that uh that you might be feeling guilty this week because there's a there's a shift there's a shift and you're being guided to just surrender that guilt it don't worry about it don't worry about it because i feel whoever you're connecting with either they are picking up or they picked up that you were ready to go okay or they're like they felt very disconnected from you and they were really really overthinking it and it feels as if they see nothing but happiness so you are exactly where you are supposed to be if you thought about walking away from this person and you stayed you 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 are yeah you you were meant to do that uh your card is sensitized so if, i feel that many of you um you're being guided that i feel that the two of you are very sensitive to each other whoever you're connecting with this is a connection i feel pisces that you are already in or it could even be a relatively new relationship definitely pay attention to your dreams signs synchronicities because the root of this connection is a lot stronger than you think right let's have a look and see um, what the story is behind each of these cards so for prayer which is surrounded by yellow is all about uh, the solar plexus you taking action uh, my prayers are answered it says here, an old man sits on his porch with his grandson, sipping lemonade and reminiscing. He wanted to be a travelling preacher. He had, he'd been all set to leave home, but his father reminded him to pray for guidance. That very night, his father died and the man realised that spirit was telling him to stay. 
Now his grandson appreciates the lemonade and the old man smiles. He never regretted staying on the farm. So I feel whatever your prayers are with regards to this connection, and I've never seen this before, but if you look closely, it looks as if looking out the window, it's like it's, it's shattered or there are several pieces. Maybe the dream of what you had about this connection was shattered in some shape, form or another. Either this person did break up with you or they pulled back their energy, okay? But I feel it's because they felt very, very disconnected from you in some shape, form or another. Or they may be feeling guilty that they disconnected from you or they broke up with you. If you stayed, many of you, you may have um, tried, been pulling your hair about the situation, pulling out your hair, um, overthinking, overanalyzing. Um, if you thought about walking away and you didn't or you just pulled back um, your communication with this person, uh, you are exactly where you are meant to be. Many of you are not going to have any regrets with, the, with with regard to this connection because guess what? It's a lot more stronger than you realise. And many of you, you are getting clarity about your destiny with this person. Despondent, um, this is around your third eye chakra as it's surrounded by um, the purple or violet. And let me just grab the story here. Despondent, violet iris, by taking action, I found the road. Iris is depressed and unable to look after herself or her home. She cries out to the great spirits for help. Mother Earth appears and suggests Iris shower, eat a good meal and clean up her house. She does, but she feels despondent. Suddenly a hurricane hits and Iris springs into action to rescue her neighbor's children. In the urgency, Iris finds the way out of depression by taking action. So it feels as if many of you, you were pulling out your hair with regards to this connection. You may not have felt loved. You may not have felt um, that this person wanted to be with you. Um, and for many of you, you may have even like this isolation and, you know, the story of Iris here went into depression. Many of you went into that low vibrational energy of not looking after yourself, not doing your daily chores, feeling a little bit depressed, feeling a little bit isolated, a little bit low. OK, I feel that you're being guided to look at that real carefully because there's a revelation. There's a revela revelation coming in, a movement, a shift, a paradigm shift that is encouraging you to move forward, okay? Because you are exactly where you're meant to be. So either this person this week is going to let you know that they see the connection as abundant, they see the connection as prosperous, or they are letting go guilt of um, if they did break up with you or if they dis did disconnect from you. Um, I feel that they either one of you, one of you or both of you are feeling that. But this despondent, you're going to jump into action um, and realize through your third eye chakra that you and this person are exactly where you're meant to be. Your world may have been shattered with that broken glass um, there, but I feel that many of you are going to be really, really glad that you didn't fully walk away <coughs> with isolation. <coughs> excuse me, that is um, surrounded by blue, which is the throat chakra. Uh, they're just showing me something in the book, actually. Despondent. Uh, yeah, look, okay. Um, this because so at the at the beginning of the book, it's got the the glance at a glance. Um, they're guiding me to read it to you because I was flicking the pages. It kept going back to this page. It says you have all the answers you need within you. This card may indicate an emotional tie that no longer serves you. Remember how you relate to the issue is the issue. Obstacles are removed when you change your relationship with them. So many of you, you may have felt that this connection didn't serve you anymore. And many of you genuinely may have literally pulled back your energy, ready to go in a different direction. 
uh, or leave this person because either they left you or you felt disconnected from them or vice versa, but you didn't. You didn't. You stayed put. And I feel that you're being guided that how you reacted to feeling disconnected from this person or if they broke up with you, that is what you're being guided to look at from your third eye chakra. OK. Let go of guilt as well. Yeah. If it was you that walked away or if you went into that kind of low energy, low vibrational energy, let it go. Release it. Then we've got isolation. So Sapphire's blue. I've got all I could ever need right here. Absolutely. Sapphire is blue. This is blue here. Occasionally he gets um, invited somewhere, but invariably he turns the invitation down. After all, what would he wear? He bought a tux once just in case, but won't wear it because he might spill something on it. Besides going out, would alter his routine. He tried to meet people but hasn't met anyone of his calibre, quote unquote. So Sapphire stays home alone and remains quite blue. Do not wait for the right time to live your life. You are on the verge of something big. But if you don't participate, it could pass you by. This is a time of celebration. This is a time of play, having fun, bringing light-hearted energy to the connection and experiencing. Um, I feel something about this connection is a lot more solid than you realise. And I feel that this person somehow, some way is going to express that to you, either through your dreams, because I do feel with your card as sensitized, the two of you are spiritually sensitive and I was channeling for you to pay attention to your dreams. So either they're going to let you know that they haven't given up hope on this connection. Um, they have been thinking about it. I feel that the same way, I wonder if this is a twin flame because what I'm getting the same way that um, you, if you felt that this person broke up with you and it wasn't closed out properly or you felt disconnected, I feel that they felt the same way about you. Because I'm picking up this person really overthinking just as you were overthinking. But I am picking up guilt here. I don't know whether it's as you discover, you know, that how you reacted to whatever happened here, that is what you needed to heal. Lumen Essence, everyone seems to be getting this one. Uh, Lumen Essence, yeah, this is all about self-love, Pisces. This is about self-love, recognising the shadow, um, your shadow self, which is, you know, not looking after yourself, not eating properly, not doing, you know, your day-to-day -day life chores, okay? Um, literally just in that hole, yeah, of isolation, depression, uh, you're being guided to shine a light on that. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. And I feel that you're being guided to let your uh, light shine in you, through you and around you. Open up your heart. Um, give, receive. OK, uh, this is. Yeah, I feel that as there's there's a shift here. And I feel that that shift starts with you. Let's have a quick look at Lumen Essence, which I should know by now. But as I've read the descriptions for all of the Zodiac signs that came up with this, um, I shall do the same for you. Don't want you to feel like you're being left out. So Lumen Essence is self-love, the light that radiates from our hearts, light shining in the darkness, heart-centered living, removing your heart armor, accepting your shadows as the flip side of your strengths, a vulnerable, wide open heart, authentic heartfelt needs. And the divine message, it says, consider the parts of yourself you may not be accepting. You may be experiencing an inner dissonance due to what you are trying to push away. So many of you, you may have tried to disconnect um, stop speaking to this person, isolate yourself, all right? This card is about self-love, 
That is the deep, compassionate, unconditional love of self that brings you into wholeness. Lumen essence means the essence of light. There is nothing that makes us shine more than a heart that is full of love. You can shine through the shadows most gracefully when there is no fear within. Accept your shadows so they can more easily resolve. Allow more light and love inside and out of your world. Absolutely. Many of you, there was a big gaping hole in your heart space with regards to this connection. And it feels as if you reacted um, really badly to it. And that's what I feel you're being guided. Like nobody or no nothing should be able to um, take your power or or take your peace all right all right my um so pisces before i get into asking my team um if this message resonates for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to other pisces it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of pisces sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing tuesday the 20th of december through to sunday the 25th of december 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards pisces that i'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right let's go my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Tuesday the 20th of December through to Sunday. Thank you. Wow, look at that. The Ten of Swords. So whoever you uh, are, are, are connecting with Pisces, the action that they took of either feeling disconnected from you or if they broke up with you or pulled back their energy, they definitely regretted it or they were scared that you were breaking up with them. And the action that they took was possibly to go silent on you, pull back their energy. It feels as if the two of you are mirroring each other, if I'm honest. Yeah, this person definitely wants to, I feel as this shift, is going on with being exactly where you are supposed to be uh this person wants to celebrate this connection they're taking action to celebrate the connection get to know you they might be a little bit scared i feel that this person may not be the greatest of communicators but they're going to do it anyway taking action they're very much into taking action this week with the queen of wands i feel that this is your energy pisces um male or female this person definitely sees you as very independent um they see you as somebody um, with the purple coming in here as somebody that is very spiritual, very free spirited, very independent, very um, action orientated. Um, you think for yourself. Yeah. Uh, and I feel that they do feel you're very passionate about stuff. Yeah. Uh, you may have been very passionate towards them and so it was quite noticeable if you then pulled back your communication because of this free-spirited energy that you have within you it's interesting with the queen of wands um i wonder pisces if you've got any fire in your um chart um aries leo or sagittarius that's coming up really strongly if not you it might be the other person um, that was just an intuitive feeling that I got there. So not, the cards aren't telling me that, but I'm going to, you know, call it out. Let's continue. Oh, they're just saying to me, there might have been a third person that um, 
whoever your person took action to talk about this connection with got involved and confused them. So if this person did re um, did break up with you, okay, or pulled back their energy that led you to feel very disconnected, they were either getting bad advice, which confused them, which confused them. And it feels as if now they see that the advice that was given to them, they were, they were being stabbed in the back. So either whoever they were talking to was jealous of the connection or just didn't want them to be with you for some reason. Thank you. Wow. The Six of Swords. Yeah, many of you definitely want to move forward. You are definitely seeing um, with your third eye chakra um, something either was missing or you're seeing that your shadow side may have got the better of you um, within this connection. And many of you are putting that behind you and moving forward. OK, I feel that you want to move forward with this connection, but you're moving forward within yourself, letting your light shine. With the Four of Swords and the Star card, it's fair, that's very interesting because um, the Four of Swords, many of you, you may have pulled back your um, energy um, to process this connection. It feels as if whatever was said or not said, it hurt you. Which is leading me to feel that this person may have broken up with you. Many of you may have gone silent, definitely isolated from this person, pulled back your communication. Uh, it hit you very much in your heart space. Yeah, you very much went quiet on this person. And that is not your energy. Your energy is a very free spirited, lively, you know, jovial kind of energy. Very passionate. But this person really cut you your heart space, definitely. But look at that, right, the bonus card right in the center of this reading. What is really interesting, both of you within your heart space recognize each other as your wish fulfillment. Yeah, in your heart, you both recognize that you have lived many lives together. And that might be the spiritual side of yourself coming in. And that's why I feel you're being guided just to surrender. Surrender heartache. Surrender wanting to know. And just let the connection flow. Get back into your energy space. Take back your power. And let the essence of your light shine through. Many of you are very free-spirited, um, you know, energetic, action-orientated, passionate, independent get yourself back all right um this person and and you you both feel like you are each other's wish fulfillment and that is something the two of you feel deep within your heart space uh you also could be dealing with an aquarius or you could have aquarius in your chart and if you do i would check out the aquarius reading because that was off the chart an amazing message all right the ace of swords this person is coming out victorious to speak their truth they may have gone through some deep healing perhaps feeling like people stabbed them in the back with poor advice if they felt if they broke up with you i feel they've got regret and they're recovering from that they could be the person that i'm picking up that felt guilty having regret um and wanting to i wouldn't even say reconcile but Either clear something up, speak their truth, all right? Um, if it was you that um, pulled back your energy, they were definitely confused and they're coming out victorious, um, speaking their truth um, after some deep healing because they are either recognizing that you definitely want to move forward, but they are taking action to get to know you, celebrate this connection. Yeah, victory, victory, this person is uh kind of going through uh in terms of some deep healing they've gone through the king of pentacles male or female this person is definitely ready for long-term commitment marriage um i would say with the red and the little flickers of orange here 
I feel that this person feels with the sacral chakra that there's a strong foundation for something really special with you. All right. They may be getting um, messages through dreams, signs, synchronicities through their crown or um, uh, cr uh, third eye chakra uh, that you are their wish fulfillment, that you've lived many lives with this person. So I feel that this person is definitely ready for long term commitment marriage or they see you as long term commitment marriage, but they definitely want to get to know you. And then the Seven of Swords, I feel that they are keeping secret that other people gave them bad advice about you or they keep in secret that they want to restore this connection. They want to be around you. They want to celebrate this connection. They're, they're keeping something secret. Thank you. What flipped out there? OK, it was just this card. I feel with the strength card, um, this person either could have Leo in their chart or you could have Leo, they are trying to muster up the strength and the courage to push on forward, to take action, to celebrate this connection, to make time because they love you. They do. There's a lot of love here. Um, they are that again, they could be guided that the connection is um, a, a safe, solid foundation, trying to have the strength and the, uh, and the courage to either come out of fear because they were guilty because they broke up with you or to um, come out of um, the guilt of taking advice that it turned out just stabbed them in the back, yeah? So this person feels as if they are going through a bit of a, an activation, an awakening of um, a part, something that just really derailed this connection for a hot minute. So don't think even though, you know, if you were really despondent, isolated, maybe a little bit depressed. This person feels as if they were going through the same thing. Judgment, yeah, this person wants um, to reconcile with you. And notice the, yeah, and look at the sun. Because they see victory, abundance, the yellow and the orange is representing um, the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. They feel this calling to take action, to restore the connection, to celebrate the connection, to be with you, to get to know you, because they see nothing but the sun, abundance, victory. Yeah, so I feel that they do want to reconcile, restore this connection. And they hear that, uh, I feel, from Divine Spirit Universe to, yeah, to, to restore this connection. With the uh, Nine of Wands, yeah, absolutely, you're being guided to surrender. Surrender to the connection, surrender to guilt, to, to release that guilt if it was you that pulled away, uh, went silent. Um, just surrender to the collection, to, to the connection. Trust, let go guilt if you broke away from this person or you got your wires crossed. Focus on the inner knowing. Focus on what you can see with your third eye chakra and communicate with that blue. Come out of isolation and communicate how you feel. Don't be defensive. Surrender to the connection. It almost feels as if at the last minute, the whole situation is going to re reveal the magic of this connection that this person actually does want to be with you. They want to get to know you and they're taking very... Um, uh, what's the word? They're taking, um, I would say, almost forthright action with strength and courage to kind of let you know they may not speak their truth, but their actions are going to tell you how they truly feel. That's what I'm picking up here. Like I said, your prayers have been answered. It may have come in a, in a way that you didn't expect. If you felt that you needed to walk away um, because they'd done something or shattered your world um, by breaking up with you, pulling back their energy or vice versa, you didn't. You stayed. Granted, you were silent <laughs> but in isolation, but many of you, you may have been praying for guidance. And I feel that your prayers have been answered. Now you're being guided to just go with the flow and let the essence of your light shine out. It will encourage this person, I feel. Let's continue. Thank you. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Look at that. The Queen and the King of Swords. Uh, oh, no, I thought it was King of Pentacles. Okay, uh, 
it was the ace of swords i was seeing so the queen of swords many of you yeah you may have cut this person out you may have walked away moved away disconnected uh or because we've got six swords and one sword here seven swords secretly you might have wanted to walk away but i feel that you didn't because with that prayer card remember um the grandfather he didn't go in the end on his preaching journey you may not have left this person that you secretly wanted to do but I feel that you are now, I feel that you are cutting out that idea and moving forward, wanting to move forward with this connection. Yeah, many of you, whatever happened, it really, look at that, the two of you, the Ten of Swords. So it's like both of you went silent. So I wonder if both of you felt like the other one was breaking up with the other one. But both of you definitely felt very, very disconnected. Many of you may have felt regret as you see this paradigm shift, as this person takes action to blatantly get to know you um, to, because they see sunshine, they see victory, they feel abundance with this connection. You're going to see that. And so you might feel guilty from going silent. I mean, look at all these swords on your side, Pisces. You went proper silent on this person, but it feels as if you weren't in a good place either yeah um so i feel that either you were very confused did you cut them out or you know did you have to cut them out because they cut you out there's a lot of cutting going on here <laughs> all right um uh, but the, the the crux of it is the two of you definitely went for a period of um isolation that blue is all around communication the two of you were silent for a period i feel that that is changing all right that is definitely changing and i feel that many of you within your heart space you felt that look at that the four of swords coming out twice gee whiz this this person they broke your heart so it feels like this person walked away from you and they're feeling guilty from it but it also feels like they felt that you were walking away from them but it feels like Gosh, it feels a bit like a cause and effect going on here. The two of you mirroring each other, second guessing each other rather than actually talking. But yeah, this person hurt you in your heart space. And the action that you took was to just pull back your energy, heal. Some of you, again, your shadow self really came out. Uh, you weren't able to really properly function. You know, wash your hair, eat properly, tidy up, you know, your home. Do your day-to-day -day chores. Four and four is... Um, yeah, four and four is eight swords. So either many of you with the eight swords coming out here, that's almost kind of like, yeah, overthinking almost in this mental torture over it's like you it's like you picked up something was wrong or this person blatantly broke up with you because they want to reconcile right with uh, the, the judgment card they're being guided to um they're getting a second chance with you all right um but you were very very analyze like really analyzing this connection it doesn't surprise me that you kind of went into isolation i think i would have as well to be honest with you um but you're being glad that you can break out of that and move forward as there's a revelation as there's some sort of revelation that this person is taking action to speak their truth celebrate the connection with you get to know you all over again but i feel that possibly what you may not be aware is that there was somebody else that was getting involved in this connection the ten of pentacles yeah many of you with the ten of pentacles you wanted to build a future with this person in reverse you felt that that wasn't possible there was a blockage it wasn't going to happen and that i feel pisces is what really brought you into that low vibrational energy because for many of you, you might have actually made plans to build a future with this person. 
yeah whether it's i don't know you you got the ball rolling you got the ball rolling and then it, it kind of came crashing down but you are each other's wish fulfillment that is one thing that neither one of you can deny and the two of wands so i feel that this person definitely is at a crossroads with regard to whatever they've got to speak okay and i feel they're going to speak their truth they're going to be guided to speak their truth they secretly want to speak their truth but they don't know how to speak their truth yeah they, they know that they're at a crossroads it's kind of make or break but they're not quite sure how to speak that truth but i feel that they will like i said it might not even come out verbally it might be through their actions or for some of you because i feel that you're quite sensitive to this person look out for your dreams look out for the signs um and synchronicities in your dreams there you go now those of you that know me when i say things that come out of my mouth like and i'm not seeing it it's because it's my team are already preempting me um the king of swords remember i said that i thought that this was the king of swords your divine counterpart and then i said oh no it's the ace of swords oh well it's the king of pentacles this is you thinking about this person they cut you out so you cut them out but you see this person as your divine counterpart it's because you've lived many lives together the foundation of this person and this relationship is actually a lot stronger than you think. Yeah, but you felt, you felt that this person was reliable. You felt that this person was your divine counterpart. I feel that you were correct, but it feels as if a third party energy got involved. Um, and I feel that they regret that. Yeah, now that third party, it could be something like work. It could be friends, family. It could be they were sidetracked on something else, but it really created a rift in this connection. That is changing, I feel. That is changing. I feel like I want to pull a couple more cards for you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you give me um, some more information for Pisces? Because I'm picking up, there's a paradigm shift. Thank you. The high priestess, yeah, this person is now really using their intuition walking in faith notice all the yellow on their card this person i feel has been praying for answers their answers have been answered because they're taking action in faith in faith really connecting with um the divinity within them my angels and spirit guides of the thank you oh wow okay they're giving me a whole look at that look at that look at that the th this person they're taking action following um walking in faith connecting with their intuition because in their heart space the green uh, they can't stop thinking about you they don't want to let you go this person loves you oh <gasps> look the king of wands and the queen of wands so there are two this person is your divine counterpart I would go as far to say, Pisces, this person is your twin flame. Look, Queen of Wands and the um, King of Wands. And do you know something? It feels as if this person um, with the indigo, they see you. This is their crown chakra. So it's like this person is either getting messages from up above that you are their per that you are you are the person they are supposed to be with the two of you are very sensitive to each other you're being guided to see that that this person is your divine counterpart you've lived many lives together with this person they're coming oh my god they're coming towards you with love and look at the blue that's coming out here they're coming in and speaking their love and look you're being guided to offer that love back meet them halfway the princess of cups so the two of you do love each other. Look, look, look at the two cups, twin flames. So it's almost as if you're being guided to meet this person halfway. The two of you are moving forward. Done, finish, end of. Yeah. I mean, I, I know that I wanted a bit more information, but my goodness gracious me. Um, 
my spirit team just really wanted that to be very very clear um there was an ebb and flow with this connection and you guys are over the worst of it definitely this person didn't want to let you go i feel that they are just as passionate and independent they see you as their divine counterpart absolutely and you have got two sets of divine counterparts the two of you uh literally are very passionate towards each other you both speak your truth or you are both can be quite cutting and blunt when you want to yeah or you both have quite a lot of responsibilities like you know maybe high profile jobs or something where you're managing people or you're in pressurized jobs the page of wands so i feel that whoever you're connecting with uh the page of wands is somebody that first of all might oh this person might be younger with, younger than you um i feel if they are it's their immaturity of um perhaps not being in a serious connection like this um, their immaturity was shining through here, uh, whatever went on with the two of you. Now, the page of wands is about somebody that potentially could be younger than you, um, that is displaying or was displaying immature um, uh, tendencies towards you. But it's also this person is, um, they were unfocused. Uh, I feel that they were, that other people got involved or they had something that was uh, else that was going on they're being guided with their intuition that they were unfocused and it left them very pessimistic uh whether or not the two of you can um make another go of it because they want that judgment they're getting a second chance it's because they were unfocused they were pessimistic about the connection in some shape form or another but in their heart space they do they do want to let, let you go whatever sidetracked them um whether it's other people chatting nonsense jealous people or work or on a project uh they didn't want to let you go you were still very much in their heart the five of swords i told you this person isn't the greatest of communicators they are making a conscious action to communicate love and this feels like um verbally yeah verbally this person is taking action to speak about love even though they don't it's not their comfort zone they're coming out of their comfort zone for you yeah let's continue my angels and spirit guides oh i'm asking for cards and they're just throwing them all out for us the knight of swords yeah i feel that this person said something that was cutting yeah or they're coming well they're coming in to, to speak their truth but i feel it was something that they said an action the solar plexus um their action of saying something possibly cutting you out because that is what you felt here um that uh, they know that they have to correct look at that five and one uh sword six of swords they too want to move forward in this connection the emperor uh many of you may have aries in your chart or you have aries in your uh they have aries in their chart i feel that many of you are being guided to either Either you were controlling in this connection or you tried to lead this connection or lead them. And that is why they cut you out or pull back their energy. I feel like now you're being guided to take care and um, take control of your emotions and meet this person halfway. Definitely uh, look and see how you reacted to this person saying something uh cutting to you or breaking up with you um, and see that they want to move things forward just like you the five of wands many of you are conflicted you may feel a little bit conflicted to move forward and meet them halfway uh, remember the lumen essence um let the essence of your light shine through okay your prayers have been answered it may have been answered in a way that you didn't expect it so take action and come out of this internal conflict and i feel meet this person halfway the knight of cups yeah this person is definitely coming towards you with love and there's a new beginning for the two of you absolutely feels like that needs to go there a new beginning that is solid grounded dependable because it's like the two of you are on the same page now on the same page it also feels a little bit with the um crown chakra showing up here 
and the crown chakra showing up here and your third eye ch chakra showing up here and the heart chakra here it almost feels as if a bit of divine intervention is going on to realign the two of you wow let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice messages for the collective of pisces thank you and look at that truth throat chakra speak from your heart it's the only thing worth listening to so maybe there's some stuff that you've got to speak about about how you felt yeah um and i feel as you meet this person halfway to because both of you want to move forward um speak your truth if you love this person express it yeah let that essence of your light shine through yeah many of you you may even see the truth of how this person really feels towards you because they're coming out of their comfort zone of not really talking about emotions and expressing emotions to you there you go sacral chakra you're being guided to let go letting go is not giving up sometimes it's the first step towards success i feel that you're being guided to let go any kind of guilt or if um this person did bring break up with you i feel that you're being guided to let that go yeah drop into your sacral chakra um go with your feelings and your feelings i feel will guide you to just let it go meet this person halfway because there's definitely a new beginning that is going to be a lot more balanced grounded yeah let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice messages for the collective of pisces sun moon rising and venus in love for week commencing tuesday the 20th of december through to sunday the 25th of december 2022 thank you and trust beautiful lovely uh third eye chakra yeah you're being guided right at the center of the reading to see things through your third eye chakra and trust third eye chakra trust your intuition it is in contact with a higher source of knowledge did i not say that the center of this reading felt like divine intervention i feel both of you are being are connecting with divine spirit universe your higher selves to get things back on track there's definitely a big big paradigm shift pisces with whoever you are connecting with beautiful all right i'm gonna um leave that there for you if it resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time my beautiful beautiful pisces i'm sending you so much love light and peace you take care bye bye <laughs>